Hi there, Tyler with Stang Guitars here with one of our quick unboxing videos. Uh, we have a really special one in today. This is the very first Sorokin guitar uh, ever released for sale. Uh, who's Sorokin, you might be asking? He's an Edmonton, Alberta builder, where, uh, our hometown. And he's doing uh, absolutely magnificent guitars. Uh, so we're going to get this one open. Uh, it tells the story itself as you're looking at it. So. Uh, I, had, I have seen this one in some various in-progress picks, but this will be the first time I've seen the, the final finished guitar. So, pretty excited to get this one out of the box. Uh, Alex Sorokin uh, has a really interesting sort of uh, focus on McCarty arrogance and stuff and uh, is a, a student of them and really wanted to build the best, I don't want to call them recreations, but the best uh, McCarty era inspired guitars that he could possibly build. Oh, this case is incredible. This is a Cedar Creek case uh, designed for him. It's got the Stroke and Guitars logo on it as well. Oh my god, is that great. Um, and he's kind of just one of these uh, next level guys who takes every detail to the fullest. Uh, he owns an old, oh nice, look at this little tag here. Little Sorokin tag on the case. Ooh, serial number to the guitar. This one is gonna be a double cut uh, junior style guitar uh, fashioned after a 59 junior. Uh, the finish is uh, cherry and it's been lightly aged. Okay, let's take a look at this. Kind of a crown royal bag purple he was going with for a little Canadian touch on this one. The, he uses aniline dye, real aniline dye is the same kind Gibson used to use back then uh, for his finishes and it's breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. It's so red. This is an incredible piece of Honduran mahogany, one piece body. I hope the camera can pick up a little bit of the aging. There's just the odd little nick and ding just to make it uh, look like it's been sitting in its case for 50 years. The finish checking is off the hook. Oh, it's so good. Light age on the heads. Oh, his logo is incredible too. Yeah, it's shot over in amber. It's kind of like a play on the old Gibson headstock, but, but unique, unique to him. These nylon nuts look really interesting if you've never seen one. All this is done exactly like they were done. Like these are real cellulose nitrate dots, um, real nylon nut. Uh, the pick guard is just crazy good. These knobs are amber just right. Everything about these is hand built. Like he starts with just raw woods, hand selected hunger and mahogany, hand selected hunger and mahogany neck. Uh, this board is actually Coco Polo. He prefers the, the look and feel of Coco Polo to to the Indian rosewood that's available these days. Um, yeah, he has his pickups are built by uh, Sanford Magnetics, which you can go check out too online. Uh, they're hand wound for him uh, to his specifications. Even his wire is, is hand built by uh, Lux Capacitors. Uh, they wrap his wire for him. Uh, Lux Capacitors also does his, uh, the capacitors inside the guitar. This is incredible. It's light. It's it's ringy. The neck has a really interesting, really interesting feel. Kind of like an old V that just sits just right in your hands. It's V-ish, but I can still like do some back of the thumb stuff. Ooh, let's go through this case a little. See what other fun bits we get. In here we have our Sorokin hang tag. We have, this is a nice little touch. This is really cool. Uh, in the 50s, Gibson used to send out a little screwdriver with all their guitars for you to do all your little adjustments. So uh, uh, we have a Sorokin branded screwdriver in here. That is awesome. Uh, hang tag. Let's have a look inside our beautiful little certificate of authenticity. Uh, we have a picture of the actual guitar. Uh, and your certificate, serial numbered. Everything about the thing is serial numbered. Like all these tags are serial numbered to the guitar. Uh, even the, uh, the little serial number stamped and embossed into this uh, certificate of authenticity. That is nice. Really nice touch. 
Uh, here's your Sanford, some information on your Sanford magnetics pickup, some information, uh, dog ear with your calibration readings for the pickup, your actual uh, output and impedance on there. Oh, look at this little Gibson, what's it, Gibson? Gibson inspired Sorokin hang tag. Sorokin guitars out in Alberta. Uh, these are absolutely fascinating. He's a hand builder, he builds them all by himself. Uh, he has no help, no employees. He's going to be doing about five guitars a year-ish, maybe a few more, not too many more. Uh, we are just couldn't be happier that we're the uh, exclusive retailer of these instruments. So if you'd like to check them out, this isn't going to last long. <laughs> so uh, if you'd like to check it out uh, up on the wall or up on the website, you better get at it quick.